I am at your service, Captain. Scarf and the bangs and everything. Scan is perfectly safe. Please keep. Well, you're back. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. 
drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes... All right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later.
Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out. you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah. I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. Barrett was all... Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these... Early whites. He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. 
blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh yeah, probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me, laying here, half-conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <sighs> here you go. Hey, uh... uh I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to... You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey. Since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. I'd be a lot more used to you somewhere else.
there's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? What's the weirdest thing you've seen? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Think. Unicorn. Not kidding. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme of file in the big shape of a horn. Holy shit. You actually... F well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have bought drinks. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? A ransom isn't about how much one gets along with the hostage. Nobody wants that. Maybe we can work something out. Yeah, I hope so. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Barrett has some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsura. Really. And good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. 
And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? You don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of my genius. I get it. Let me know if you change your mind. <laughs>